Hey everyone, welcome back to our channel Go Dynamic IT. Are you tired of keeping multiple USB drive for different operating system? I have got a custom solution for you. Today we are going to review the multi-boot USB maker called Yumi, which is absolutely free software. With Yumi, you can boot from favorite live Linux portable operating system, Linux and Windows installer, antivirus utility, disk cloning, backups, penetration testing, diagnostic tools, and much more all from a single USB drive. You may even can provide you interface to download ISO of Linux, Microsoft, antivirus tool and many more from the official website. Yes, you heard right. And if you don't like the Yumi interface, I will show you how to customize it and get the vibrant look. So let's dive into the video and see how it actually works. For that, we have to go to our desktop and we have to go to the internet and we have to download the software first. For that, you have to type this uh, yum multi boot and it will take you to this uh, Yumi bootable USB drive. You can see this is the first link. So once you click on that, it will take you to this website pendrivelinux.com and you have to scroll it down. It says that this is a multi boot USB installer. This will allow you to create a bootable disk from Windows and Linux. And you can see here, this is a screenshot of it. Uh, you can see this antivirus tools system to note back distribution other than OS and tools. There's lots of things which you can do it in that we'll see in the video. So let's come back and uh, to show you the link to download it. Okay, so you can see this Yumi EXFAT download. So I would recommend to download this Yumi EXFAT download. This is released on 22nd May 2024 and this is the EXFAT. So EXFAT is always recommended to go with that because now the ISOs are coming more than a 4 GB. So when you have a EXFAT, this EX, EXFAT uh, partition will support the file which is larger than the 4 GB or 4.5 GB. So always recommend this one and then this will support this legacy and UEFI both the versions are supported on this version so let's download it and you can see this is downloading and download is completed so this is very tiny software just a 19 MB or some 20 MB file and just run this this is a very uh, small application it's not going to take much time so you, can, you have to select the agreement and it says that uh, you have to detect your disk so this is my pen drive so I have selected this uh, 14 GB pen drive you can select your pen drive depends of, of depends on your utilization um, but larger the better that's what I would that that's uh, I would su suggest because over the time you will keep uh, building this data ISO's database inventory on your uh, pen drive so you need a uh, more space on it so I'll show you how to do that later in this video okay so uh, for testing purpose I've selected this 14 GB pen drive so let's click on this 14 GB pen drive and then you have to select this if you're doing the first time then you have to do this prepare the this device and it says that if you have selected this F drive 14 GB and it gives you the warning that Everything will be deleted, but that's okay. I want and this will create a um, secondary folder called EF. And this is the telling the information about and this will create a different partition or a level of F drive. Okay, so if you want to click on the yes or no, so yes, I want to create on the, create on the yes. So now it's creating the file, creating this pen drive as a bootable pen drive. Okay, done. So this is created. What is the second step? Here it says that uh, disk two has been prepared. Okay, fine. Okay, so it said go to the step two. So in se step two, we have to select the ISO. So if you have a ISO, well and good. If you do not have a ISO, let's say I want to download this uh, um, Linux Mint. So you have to select the Linux Mint and click on the download. If you do not have ISO, we have to go to the Google and then we have to type this Linux Mint and then it will download the Linux Mint software. Okay, so just click on the Linux Mint and click the download link here and say that do you want to download it? Yes, I want to download it. And now you can see this is moving to this Linux Mint official website. And now you'll have an option to download it from here you can see this is the download download version uh, it say that uh, linux made 21.3 you can go ahead and download so this is how you can go so this is not about the software even you can go with any other applications and you can go and download you can say the puppy linux click on the download link again it's asking about that it's going to download and you can see you have a download option this is the beautiful thing i love this software just because of this feature okay so this is about the downloading the isos and once you download it you have to point it and you have to point that uh, download to it and so that it will copy. Now I'll show you, let's say, how about if we have already downloaded the ISOs like me, you can see that I have a software, Kaspersky, TinyCore, DSL, Windows 98, XP, Windows ME. This is, these are the software which I have already downloaded. How do I point that into the pen drive? So for that, we have to, what we have to do is we have to click on this list, come down and you can bottom, you can see try and unlisted ISO, click OK and click on the browse. And now here it says that you can see this is a list. So just click on this, let's say tiny core and click on create. So now it's creating the file and you can see this is created in the F drive, Yumi and unlisted ISO click on the next and it says do you want to create more 
you can select on a yes again go back to your uh, unlisted software go to the bottom try unlisted click on the browse and now this time you select the dsl core linux create it's pushing that software into the again into the f you mean unlisted software click on the next but you know i know that you will get irritated even when you have a 10 20 or 15 number of iso you have to go one by one so i'll show you the shortcut how to do that so what you have to do is click on the no here and click on the finish and come out just close this browser we don't need now we have to go to the pen drive so let's go to our pen drive where is our pen drive okay see this is the pen drive and you can see this is the folder yumi and this is the unlisted ios so what we will do is uh, let's open this download folder as well so let's open side by side and uh, go to the download i can see i have a uh, two windows so right what we can do is you have to go to the yumi and right click create a folder called windows okay so you can create a folder called windows and then you have to just move it copy and paste it here okay so you can see um, i have uh, copied these two files into the windows folder now if you want to keep this uh, let's say i would like to create one more folder and this name as an antivirus let's make the name as antivirus and then we have to kaspersky into it paste it okay as you can see here this kaspersky is also a move to this antivirus software now it says the unlisted software can i unlisted iso let's go and uh, rename as a linux okay so this way we can create a list depends on depends on your iso so now we have a antivirus and then we have a linux windows if you want you can go and create a pen test or or uh, rescue devs uh, backups all the other folders you can create and that's it this your disk is completed yeah so this now let's go to our other system and boot on boot from this pen drive so as i said that uh, this will support uefi and legacy both mode so if you have if uefi uefi motherboard don't worry about that just boot from this pen drive you have to go to the bios and uh, press maybe uh, it depends on the different motherboard vendors some vendors support f9 so some manufacturers support f12 go to the internet and just find it out what is the bootable me boot menu uh, options are there and based on that you can select the key so let's go on our system and see how it boot and how it look like okay so now you can see the system is booted and you can see the antivirus let's click on that antivirus you can see we have a kaspersky and click on the back button let's click on the linux you can see then a linux we have a dsl and tiny core let's escape to go back and we have to go to windows and windows you can see this linux and windows millennium right me so based on that you can go ahead and build this list of the softwares and i said that if you don't like this interface you can see this is the linux interface you can see this baby penguin here and then holding the pen drive if you want to if you don't like this interface if you want to change it so let me show you how to do that okay so i'm back to my system and now you can see um, this is the disk which we have uh, pushed our all the isos here and this is the i think this is the ventoy theme with umei use on on top of that so what we have to do is and this ventoy use this genome theme yes so what we have to do is we have to go to this uh, the one website called genome genome looks.org so we are in this site and you can see there are the different um, themes here so this is about this uh, star rail grub thing so you can if you want you can go ahead and download it and you can see this is these are the instructions here you can go ahead and follow the instruction of so for me what theme i would like to go um, these are the different theme you can see sweet grub so i love this purple theme so let's click on the purple theme and click on the download download the zip version and you can see it's downloaded uh extract it click on the extract and this is the vento so we have to copy this and go back to our yumi and you can see this is a ventoy so you have to right click and rename this just put it as one or you can delete it and paste it here paste the one which we have copied so now you can see this is the ventoy which we have downloaded purple theme and we have renamed it and uh, make it and you can write anything or you can delete it that's not a problem so let's delete this i don't want this older theme yeah this has got deleted and this, this delete and this is the new theme here so now let's close this and go back to our system and boot with the pen drive let's see what is changed now okay so i am booting with this uh, pen drive and now you can see this vibrant kernel purple went away screen here and this look beautiful for me it look beautiful than the previous one and you can see in the list all our softwares are there right but you know this is coming as a list so but we want to see as a tree view how it was showing the folder wise for that you have to press the f3 so once you press the f3 now you can see we are back to this folder view i can see a tree view and here you can see the antivirus linux windows and all the stuffs are 
here so let's try to boot with the linux so um and see how that is going to look like so click on the linux live cd and we'll select this tiny core and i'll select this boot in normal mode and just select this uh, live cd tiny core and now you can see this uh Linux is booting and how beautifully we have a multi ISO USB pen drive and it looks very beautiful for me and this is starting up. Okay, so you can see the prompt here and uh, when we see this IP config, I can see this IP address on, on it also. So this is how we create our multi bootable ISO CDs and we can boot any of our live CD or we can go ahead and create our operating system. So that's it for today's video. If you like my video, please subscribe. And please do let me know your feedback in the comment box because that is important for me. And if you like to see any custom videos, please also write in the comment box. I'll create a custom video on your demand. So thank you very much for watching my video. See you in the next one.